Hello again, we're back here with Amy Carnell, one of the resource managers for 10 by 10. And this is a little extra to our network conversations. We wanna ask her the question, if I'm a youth leader who wants to change my youth ministry, where do I start and how does 10 by 10 help? Amy? That, Phil, is an excellent question. And thank you for having me in on this conversation. Um, and I think that the first thing I wanna do with that question is shift our thought as youth leaders away from youth ministry as a program and thinking about youth ministry as relationships. So how do we change our youth ministry in a way that helps our students build our youth, build relationships or grow in relationships with Jesus? And the way that we do that is to shift our focus in youth ministry to relationships themselves. So when I'm thinking about changing my youth ministry, I'm going to not think, I'm going to try with as hard as I can to not think about what I'm teaching or what games I'm playing or how my time is structured and shift away to what actually will help me change my youth ministry is looking at the people in my youth ministry and how they're doing um, in the process of learning about, of knowing and following Jesus. And when I say the people in my youth ministry, the first person I think that we should think about is ourselves. Mm -hmm. So how can I change my youth ministry? I encourage youth leaders to start thinking about how are you doing? How's your, how is your personal life going? How healthy are you? Are you on the brink of burnout? Are you thinking more with frustration when you think about your youth ministry? Or are you thinking more of excitement and flourishing? Mm -hmm. If there's something that's not quite jiving or right there personally or spiritually, are you encouraging your students to spend time reading their Bibles and praying? And yet you're scrambling so much during your week that you're opening your Bible only really to prepare to teach, right? And I'm saying that from being a youth leader, I've been there, right? So how do I change something in my youth ministry? I first start and look at how I'm doing as a leader. Mm -hmm. um, I shift away from what my youth ministry looks like and look at what the people look like and how they're doing, starting mm -hmm. with me. I take a bit of an, ev an evaluation or an assessment there. And then... I start looking for resources of how can I grow? Um, and also then, you know, what are the other relationships or people in the room that matter? Mm -hmm. our, our adults around us matter. <laughs> so I start looking and taking inventory about like, hey, who else is, is investing in my youth? Um, who can get into relationship with youth and show them how to follow Jesus? And how do I shift what I'm doing on a weekly basis in my youth group to help get those people in the room connected with my youth in a meaningful way. And when I say meaningful, I mean a way that's good for them and a way that's good for my students and helping my students follow Jesus, right? And um, so I start equipping volunteers and then we together, the adults in the room, start looking at and praying about God, what do you want to do in our youth ministry and helping our students develop, I help develop an understanding of who they are, their identity based in who Jesus Christ is. Mm -hmm. And it, and it all then starts to shift from there, but it has to start with the people first and then move into the things that we do, the relationships that we build with students. So the second part of your question was, what does 10 by 10 have to do with that? What we're working on at 10 by 10 is we're working on creating a way of a youth leader to show up and to say, hey, I want to know how I can change my youth ministry. Help. <laughs> and we're working on creating a network that creates, that connects youth ministry, youth ministry leaders to other leaders, to peers, you know, other leaders who are in my area, other leaders who are lead in churches like mine, um, locally or nationally, and then also to provide really, um, simple, 
uh, plans or steps to take to move toward change. And why I say simple is because if you're a youth minister like me, you don't have a lot of capacity for reading long books, making mm-hmm. notes about it and making plans to change, right? We need it to be something that we can just like simply say, oh, this is a great idea. Let me try it in my youth ministry next. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Amy, thank you so much. And thank you to 10 by 10 for all the all the listening that they have been doing, all the collaborating that they've been bringing together uh, to create what I'm sure is going to be an awesome movement in this in this country and uh, helping youth leaders to be the leaders that that are leading students so that they can be leaders in their communities and their families. So that's right. Thank you so much. Yeah. And so I can say that a place to start is head to 10 by 10, 10 X 10. So the number 10, T E N X 1010.org and browse around. There's, um, there's already some ideas up there that I think um, would be helpful for you for getting started.